Good evening. The date is the 1st of February 1933 and you're watching News of Germany, the best independent current affairs show for the German Reich. And today we'll be assessing Chancellor Adolf Hitler's first three days in office. Do we finally have a stable government? I'm joined from Berlin by our correspondent Andrew. Andrew, how's it looking? But there you go. What do I know? Hey, yeah, he pays. Oh, uh, Andrew, can you hear me? Uh, hello, Andrew. Are we live? Andrew, what can you tell us about uh, Hitler's first three days as Chancellor? Um, well, uh, he's still in power, so that's something at least. Yes, the uh, last 12 months have been uh, pretty turbulent, haven't they? Y yes, that's right. We had uh, two elections. The first one gave the National Socialist Party more seats than any other party, but not enough for an absolute majority. And because Hitler refused to form a coalition with any other party, fresh elections had to be called for November. And as I recall, the Nazis actually got fewer seats this time. Uh, that's right. Their vote share went down from 37% to just 31%. It was a very disappointing night for them. Now, um, wasn't Kurt von Schleicher appointed Chancellor after that election? Yes, um, I've been told by an anonymous source that the former Chancellor Franz von Papen suggested to President Hindenburg that he dissolve the Reichstag again and this time delay elections until we could get some kind of stability. Hindenburg actually rejected this as both dangerous and unconstitutional and instead appointed Schleicher as uh, Chancellor, uh, who was hoping to be able to unite the extreme left and the extreme right in a coalition that could at least form a government. That doesn't seem like a very clever idea. The rumour is that Schleicher was hoping to take advantage of a power struggle that's going on within the Nazi party at the moment and play off the hardline Hitler against the rather more moderate Gregor Strasse. This would split the Nazi party and then the Strasse faction would join Schleicher in his government in an attempt to bring down the democratic system from within. So, what went wrong? Well, apparently, when Strasser suggested to Hitler that it would be better to be vice-chancellor in Schleicher's government uh, than not be in government at all, Hitler disagreed and declared that it was all or nothing. He then demoted Strasser and reorganized the party to uh, remove all of the moderates from senior positions. So basically, the Nazi party is now even more extreme than it already was. All right, but um, Hitler is now chancellor, and yet he's one of only uh, three Nazi party members in the government. Uh, how did that come about? Oh, well, last month, uh, Hitler and von Papen met to discuss the terms of a coalition between Hitler's National Socialists and von Papen's German National People's Party. Now, von Papen really wants to get back into the chancellery, and this is probably the only way that he's going to be able to do it. But Hitler insisted that he himself would be the chancellor and von Papen would have to settle for vice-chancellor. Is it true, though, that uh, President Hindenburg doesn't like Hitler and didn't want to have to appoint him? Uh, that's correct. Uh, he's on record as saying that he never wanted this, uh, quote, bohemian corporal as chancellor. But it seems that in this case he had a straight choice between appointing Hitler or calling for fresh elections yet again, with no end to that particular merry-go-round in sight. And also, um, he may well have been satisfied that uh, Hitler could be kept in check by the, uh, by the relatively moderate cabinet. So it is still a very right-wing government, but one that can stop Hitler from doing anything really dangerous. But that's good to know. It looks as if democracy has been saved. Uh, Andrew, um, I'm, I'm just being told that President Hindenburg has announced the dissolution of the Reichstag. Uh, yes, the president has dissolved the Reichstag at the chancellor's request, and there will be fresh elections on the 5th of March. Wow. You say Hitler himself asked for new elections? Um, I can only assume that he's hoping for a better result this time. I mean, Hitler is in a very weak position at the moment, so maybe he's gambling that he can win some extra seats. That seems to be a very risky plan. Indeed, the Nazis are losing support at the moment, so unless he has something up his sleeve, I 
don't see how he can do it. Just a couple of days ago, Hitler said that he would never leave the Chancellery alive. It looks as if he may have to. Thank you, Andrew. Well, there you have it. I expect 90 years from now, Adolf Hitler will be nothing more than a footnote in the history books. And there we have to leave it. We've run out of time. Thank you for watching and good night. I don't know about you, but I can't stand that, Andrew. It's a white b Well, hello and thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. 2023 is the 90th anniversary of the Nazi takeover of Germany and I thought I would like to do something slightly out of the ordinary just to kind of mark the occasion and perhaps give you a better idea, a better understanding of how things progressed. So I hope that I was able to make this entertaining without going too far and making it seem flippant or irreverent. Uh, it's not my intention to trivialise anything but I thought if I could make a series of these videos through the year, it might actually give you a better idea of just how quickly everything progressed. So please let me know in the comments what you thought of this and whether you'd like me to continue this series. The more by an anonymous source, the hey, the of Hitler. Do we finally have a soul god? And today we're in